Hi, I'm Erica Karakesh and my blog is called In Erica's Kitchen. I started my food blog in the fall of 2008, so it's been about four and a half years now. So In Erica's Kitchen is really a blog about what families eat. Now, it's a blog about what my family eats because everything that goes on the blog is something that we do actually eat. I had two really small kids and I was doing what moms do. I was hanging out with them at playgroups and having playdates and taking them to preschool and cooking a lot of meals for them and you know it was a big challenge trying to figure out how to feed them healthy food that wasn't chicken nuggets. I really enjoy vegetables and fruit. I'm originally from New York where, I don't know if you've ever been to New York, but the produce really not so great most of the year. And now I live in California where not only is the food at the farmer's markets great, um, but I can grow food in my backyard all year round, which means I have a lot of options when it comes to using things in my recipes that actually come from literally outside my back door. Food blogging is hard because it combines a bunch of different disciplines. You have to be able to write, you have to be able to take pictures, and you have to be creative in the kitchen and think about new ways of putting ingredients together. For me, actually writing the story and the recipe is not a problem. Taking a good picture has been a huge struggle. And I've uh, worked really hard on my photography. I've learned a lot about where the places are in my house, at what time of day I can get good natural light, and I've taught everyone in my family how to hold a bounce. When I'm not feeling motivated, I try to look for outside things to bring into my blog. And what I tend to do during those periods is instead of creating my own recipes, I'll find other things to write about. I'll do a book review, or I'll write about one of my kids' recipes, or ask one of them to write a guest post. And then what I find is that, you know, that passes, and then I do get creatively inspired again. So I started holding my Truffle Palooza parties in 2009. I had met this produce wholesaler in San Diego and I called my husband and I said, hey, I got a great deal on some truffles. And he said, okay, we're having a party. And the first year was really an accident and it was just friends and family. I had the party again and a bunch of my food blogger friends came and we had a great time. And then they wrote about it. And then the next year I had it again and it was even bigger. And then the next year I had it, it just kind of kept growing and growing. And so last year when I had it, I did 20 different dishes for 200 people, about 50 of whom were food blogger friends. It was written about in the LA Times because of connections I had made as a food blogger. So, you know, being part of this food blogging group has really helped all of us kind of bring things up to the next level.